All right, Shalom. This I'm gonna try to get it done, but if not, I it'll maybe two two more videos, two or three more videos. We'll see how it turns out. Um, this one is this source right here is W O T R Warriors of the Ruach. Yahweh is Jupiter, Zeus. Like I say, I'm not coming from my own understanding and knowledge. I'm just sharing information to see uh, where it leads us and what do you think about it. So I'm, I'm using this as a source to, to see what they had, what what kind of proof that they have to show. Um, did you know this is the first page? Did you know? Did you know that Yahweh is really the Greek deity Zeus and the Roman deity Jupiter? Yahweh. Yahweh is said by a great many Bible scholars and church theologians uh, to be the correct name and pronunciation of the creator name YHWH or it or is it? Once again, it is critical that we all search out the truth for ourselves. Acts 14 and 13 and they call Bar 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 Barnabas Jupiter. G2203 Zeus and Paul Mercurius G2060 Hermes because he was the chief speaker. Then the priest of Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands unto the gates and would have done sacrifice with the people. Acts 19.35 And when the town clerk had appeased the people, he said, Ye men of Ephesus, what man is there that knoweth not how the city of the Ephesians is a worshiper of the great goddess Diana and of the image which fell down from Jupiter? Zeus, G2203, Zeus. Phonetic spelling, Z-Y-U-S, apostrophe S. Transliteration, Zeus, meaning Jupiter or Zeus a father of helps, the national god of the Greeks and corresponds to the Roman Jupiter. Many pastors will defend this name, but is the name Yahweh really the correct name and pronunciation for the creator of Elohim of the Abari Hebrew people? Webster's 1988 Second Edition Dictionary, Kaddish, etc. Yahweh or Yahweh, Y A apostrophe W E, comma dash W A. Hip hip hip. Theoretical reconstruction of the tet, a grammatical tetragrammation, grammatical. Y H W H first competent first component Y A comma uh, capital Y then A H U God older cannot name God a form of the Hebrew name in the old Testament C Testagrammaton also Yahweh or Yahweh Yahwism the worship of Yahweh Jehovah the use of Yahweh as a name for God, Yahwist, the unidentified writer or writers of certain Old Testament passages in which Yahweh Jehovah instead of Elohim is used as the name for God or Elohist, Yahwistic, Yahweh word of origin, Yahweh, 1869, hypothetical reconstruction of the tetragram. Uh, tetragrammaton of YHWH, C. Jehovah, based on the assumption that the tetragrammaton is the imperfect, imperfective of Hebrew verb Hawa, earlier from the Haya, was in the sense of the one who is the existing. Um, we see right in the dictionary and the etymology that the name Yah Yahweh is the hypothetical reconstruction, not the irrefutable true construction of the tetragrammaton of the Kadash, set apart name for the creator, Yahuwah. So do you really want to stake your salvation in a name that is just a guess? Interesting that the Webster's Dictionary gives us the clue Yah and Yahoo right off the top. 
uh, let's see. Right off the top, we know from research and study that in Hebrew, which is the original language, every time the Hebrew letter uh, Yad, Hey, Wa, or in English, the letters Y, H, and W are together a hundred times a day that proves it always pronounces Yahoo. The dictionary all reads that Yahweh was used in place of Elohim, properly spelled A L A. H I Y M means meaning mighty might one or God in English. Notice that the etymology gives the clue. Words that Haya H one nine six one and Hawa H one nine three three, which are both in the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahoo, Yahu Wa. What isn't being taught in these holy churches is that Yahweh is uh, being pronounced with the Greek vowel sound and not the original pure Semitic vowel sounds. Unbiased historical research show us that there is one letter, E, in the original A B A R I W. I mean, A B A R I W. Why? I mean, let me do it again. In the original A B A R I Y, and Hebrew language. Further study and research teaches us that the Abare language the the h a y or the letter h in english always makes the ah sound when it comes to the heavenly father's true name the tetragrammaton y h w h the h makes the ah sound in front of the name y h yah and always makes the ah sound in the back of his name w h y not way so right there, we see that the Greek pronunciation is incorrect. Oh, there, you, there we go with the Greek again. We just heard earlier, in, uh, well, in part one, go back and see that one. The Greeks is a, uh, basically a, a, a word or a, a way of, of just making up, making up things <laughs> according to the definition. You know, don't don't hold me. I'm just a messenger reading this information. So don't say I'm defiling you, and I'm not. I'm just reading what I what I'm reading, and based on understanding. So based on understanding, I got through the Greek language. The Greek language is basically making up words. So right there, we see the Greek pronunciation is is incorrect. Thus, they're hypothetical. Reconstruction, best guess. Basically, that's what they do. They guess at words. That's what they were saying. Remember, a hundred times in, in the Ibrary names or places, it always proves that the letter H-A-Y is always pronounced with an ah sound. Do people really want to be calling on or putting their salvation in the name of a hypothetical and can't be proven true? Yahoo. Yahoo. Chan. Yahoo Chan. Eight. 32 John and and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free then we go on it, it's love or Yov or Jupiter the Roman Catholic Church is and has been the mightiest church in the world has ever seen in our time having more than 1 billion followers its history goes right back to the Roman Empire Emperor Constantine, who decreed that the pagan religion of Christianity be the legal religion of the Roman Empire. Would you be amazed to know that the chief god of the ancient Romans is still being praised and worshipped unknowingly today in our times by a multitude of Christians and Jews worldwide? The chief god in the ancient Romans is known to, known to us today as Jupiter, king of the gods. But Jupiter has an older, more ancient name. In English, it is Yo, Yove, Yove. And in classical Latin, it is spelled L O V E and pronounced Yahweh. If we check the pronunciation chart, classical Latin in a book called Vox Latina, which is one of the most respected and author authoritative books on the pronunciation of classical Latin, this is what we find. The I is long. 
I was just thinking of. Sorry. The I is pronounced as a double E sound as the word sheep. The O is pronounced as a A-H sound as the word father. The V is pronounced as the W as the word well. The E is pronounced as the E-H as the word pet. If we put the sounds together, E, E, E plus A, H plus W plus E, 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 H, it is pronounced Yahweh. The E, E sound and the A, H sound and the Ya and the W plus E, H is way. Put the sounds together and we pronounce Yahweh spelled L-O-V-E is classical Latin, which is the king of all the Roman gods, Jupiter. The ancient Romans worshipped and praised the name Yahweh. One thing for sure, Yahweh, or one thing for sure, the, the Tantagrammaton, Y-H-W-H, Yahuwah, is the Hebrew de deity and is not a Roman deity named Yahweh. If you have ever heard the famous quote by Yov, I think he's got it. Or oh, by Jove, I think he's got it. Jove, uh, Jove, yeah, Jove is a euphemism of Jupiter, the Roman king of gods, and the Greek call him Zeus. Putting it into a simpler way, it is like saying, my God, by God, in the case by Jupiter. Now you know what it means. Cartoon from the old newspaper. And then, okay, let me go and do a part three.